What's an example of brokering a note? Well, suppose a seller of a property who's holding a note decides he needs more cash than the monthly payments provide him. He contacts you as a note broker, because you have done your marketing with him, uh, for a quote on the note. Maybe by now it's paid down to, a, say, a $150,000 balance. If you are a note broker, you get all the details, you check with the investor you've chosen, uh, you'll find the most reputable real investors, not just other brokers. You don't be brokering to other brokers as I'm, as in most of the time anyway. Uh, in our paper source registry of note investors. And you offer the note seller something less than what the investor will pay. You make the money on, on the difference. Uh, for example, let's say your investor quotes you $141,456 for this particular note. You offer the note seller less than that. And that's how you make your commission. Say you offer $137,456 for it, $150, whatever it was. You'd make $4,000. Just offer them $4,000 less than what the investor is offering. And you don't need the cash to do that. You're using the investor's money. The investor will wire the funds separately uh, to the title company or however they choose to close it. Uh, handling the note sale and quite often then the title company itself will cut you a check directly for the difference or the perhaps the note uh, investor will send you a check for the difference and the note seller doesn't know it's not his business how much you're making on the commission as long as he's happy with the sale of his note. Another way to do it of course is to be the investor to keep the note and now you collect the monthly payments. Uh, your investment produces a, a high yield for you uh, and if the payer ever defaults, you get the house, uh, which uh, if, or whatever the property is, uh, the note is securing uh, for your investment, less the payments you've already received. Uh, so that's, in a nutshell, uh, how it works when you uh, broker a note.